commercials motivate us all to think different. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Apple ads. Introducing the Power Mac G5, the world's fastest, most powerful personal computer. For this list, we're taking a look at the most rousing, humorous, and iconic commercials for Apple products, as well as the Apple brand. We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. Number 10, Hello. 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 Yo, yo. Hello. When this commercial first hit the scene, it acted as an introduction to the Apple iPhone. Almost 10 years later, however, it feels more like a time capsule. Hello. Bonjour. Hi. How you doing there? Using footage from popular movies and TV shows, this ad depicts the telephone's evolution over several decades. It suggested that the iPhone would be a game changer, making phones with cords, buttons, and dials virtually obsolete. Today, everyone and their mother owns an iPhone. Meanwhile, landline phones and old school mobile phones are practically antiques. Even in an age where smartphones reign supreme, one thing remains the same. People still generally answer a call with a friendly hello. Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me. Number nine, joke. Evening. You don't have anything on your calendar for this evening. Debuting with the iPhone 4S, Siri is one of Apple's most extraordinary innovations. Standing for speech interpretation and recognition interface, this computerized personal assistant has become a household name. Send a WeChat to Nancy saying I'll be five minutes late and Siri can summon up the WeChat UI right inside of the Siri environment. She shared the small screen with numerous celebrities, including actor John Malkovich. Weather. Nice weather coming up today through this Tuesday. This ad demonstrates Siri's various functions, such as checking the weather, calendaring, and recommending restaurants. What really distinguishes Siri, however, is her ability to tell a joke. Two iPhones walk into a bar. I forget the rest. Able to put a smile on anyone's face with her refreshing sense of humor, Siri feels less like a computer program and more like a sentient being. We can't help but wonder if this commercial inspired Spike Jones, who had previously directed Being John Malkovich and would later direct her. I don't know, it makes me feel like we're both under the same blanket. You know, it's soft and fuzzy <laughs> and everything under it's the same age. We're all 13 billion years old. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Number eight, the song. My darling Raymond, though you can't be here for the holidays, we'll always be together in my heart. In an age where people are constantly glued to their iPhones, it's easy to assume that we're drifting apart as a species. The song, however, reveals how Apple's pioneering technology can bring people closer together. This touching ad follows a young woman who uncovers an old voiceograph. A gift from her grandmother to her grandfather, the record opens with a message about being separated over the holidays. Our love is here to stay, not for a year, but ever and a day. The grandmother proceeds to sing Love is Here to Stay. Using her Mac, the young woman makes a digital copy of her grandmother's song and records her own rendition too. It's impossible not to get choked up when the grandmother plays the duet on an iPad mini, filling us all with the holiday spirit. But I love Number seven, three steps. Remember when accessing the internet was even slower than Jeff Goldblum's drunken speech pattern? Can you imagine for the same cost as three pizzas, you own a computer? Okay, that version's not the real deal. This is. You can own a computer. The iMac is less than $30 a month. But back to accessing the internet. Things started to change when the iMac hit store shelves. Narrated by Mr. Goldblum, this ad sums up how to get on the internet in three steps. Plug in, get connected, and that's actually it. There is no step three. There's no step three. There's no step three. <laughs> this commercial is quick and simplistic. 
which is exactly how we like our internet service. It showed the world that getting online didn't have to feel like a triathlon, and that the World Wide Web was only a couple of easy steps away. Number 6. There's an app for that. There's an app for just about anything, only on the iPhone. It's hard to believe that humankind survived for so many years without iPhones, or iOS applications for that matter. Whenever people have a problem, their initial instinct is to check the App Store for a solution. The possibilities for applications are endless, which this advertisement for the iPhone 3G suggests in a clever, concise manner. Want to know how many calories are in a meal? There's an app for that. Need help locating your car? There's even an app for that. Now, if only there were a way to stay updated on WatchMojo's daily top 10 lists. Oh, wait, there's definitely an app for that. The WatchMojo app. That was hard. Available now for all your favorite mobile and streaming devices. Number five, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, tell me that you love me more. Kids today probably can't even fathom a world where people had to listen to music on compact disc players and watch music videos on MTV. With the iPod Nano, music lovers got everything they could possibly ask for in one convenient pocket-sized package. In addition to showcasing such groundbreaking technology, this commercial stuck with consumers thanks to an infectiously catchy song by indie pop singer Feist. Oh, right the minute you hear 1234, you won't be able to get it out of your head. As a result, you'll inevitably feel compelled to visit your local Apple store to pick up the latest iPod Nano. There is also little doubt that 1234 will skyrocket to the top of your playlist. One, two, three, four. Number 4. Crazy Ones. Here's to the crazy ones. The misfits. The rebels. If you're going to change the world, you need to be crazy enough to think different. This inspiring commercial pays tribute to all the people that had the audacity to challenge the norm, from Albert Einstein to Martin Luther King Jr. to John Lennon. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. Two versions of this commercial were originally produced. Oscar winner Richard Dreyfuss narrated the one that ultimately aired. The unaired version was narrated by Steve Jobs, who had just returned as Apple's CEO. While some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Jobs favored the Dreyfus voiceover, since the ad was about Apple and not himself. Whenever we watch this commercial, though, it's hard not to think of Jobs and how his unique vision revolutionized the future. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Number three, get a Mac. Hello, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC! It's the life-changing question everyone must eventually ask him or herself. Should I buy a Mac or a PC? This enduring advertising campaign made a compelling case for you to get a Mac, portraying Apple's golden boy as an adorkable hipster and Microsoft's PC as a dated model. Well, well, you know what? I'll put Mac on. He'll tell you that I run Vista fast. I'll talk to them, but I can't say. Hello, I'm a Mac. Yeah, dude, PC's definitely faster. Justin Long and John Hodgman make a perfect odd couple, striking just the right balance between buddies and rivals. Okay, easy. PC, you are a wizard with numbers and you dress like a gentleman. PC? Well, Mac, I, I guess you are a little better at creative stuff. Well, thank you. That's Even though it's completely juvenile and a waste of time. Granted, there were a few critics that felt these ads came off as too smug. Thanks to clever writing and the chemistry between the actors, though, these vignettes ultimately proved that there's nothing wrong with a little friendly competition. Now, Mac can do all the office stuff you can do. But, uh, PC, this is a good thing. You shouldn't really... You and Mac are so compatible. I want to transfer all my files over to Mac. Just give it a squeeze! Number two, Silhouette. One, two, three, take my hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Like many of Apple's other commercials, this ad campaign was so simple and yet so cool. Depicting a series of silhouettes rocking out with their iPods against bright backgrounds, these commercials became iconic almost instantly. Me in, well, 
Over the years, Bob Dylan, Eminem, U2, and other recording artists would lend their vocals and silhouettes to Apple. Everybody gonna dance tonight. Everybody gonna feel alright. Combining hit songs with stylish imagery, the silhouette ads really made it feel as if the music was leaping out of your screen. Whenever we close our eyes while listening to our iTunes playlist, dancing silhouettes immediately come to mind. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Some people think the Pentium 2 is the fastest processor in the world. It says, I have a once in a lifetime investment opportunity for the making of many of millions of currency. Would you like to reply? Uh, yeah. The walls have come down. Opportunity has gone up. Introducing the thinner, lighter, more powerful iPad Air. I'm a young soul in this very strange world, hoping I could learn a bit about what is true and fake. Number one. 1984. It's pretty ironic that Apple's original Macintosh computer was considered a financial disappointment upon initial release, but people still remember this legendary Super Bowl commercial over 30 years later. Masterfully directed by Ridley Scott, 1984 takes place in a dystopian society governed by an oppressive leader. As a runner throws a sledgehammer at the Big Brother-like symbol, the system is broken, and the people are freed from conformity. We shall prevail. Symbolic and cinematic, this ad was ahead of its time in many respects. The same could be said about Steve Jobs, who would bring us even greater things in the years to come. Which is phenomenal. It works like magic. 1984 will always be remembered as a turning point for Apple, advertising, and technology in general. On January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Apple ad? Thank you, Barry. For more entertaining top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. La, la, la.